So what did Rachel say when you told her you were still married to her? Oh, that. Um, she took it really well. Oh. You didn't tell her, did you? No. Of course not, because you're in love with her. I am not in love with her. She was very upset about having to move out, so I, I didn't tell her we were still married because she'd only get more upset. I, I just, I comforted her as a friend. What do you mean comforted her? It was nothing. Just gave her a hug. Aha! Uh -huh. A classic sign of love, the hug. It's also a sign of friendship. Yeah, not in your case, Lovey Leverson. It was a hug, okay? A simple hug. I was a friend being a friend to a friend. Use the word friend more. <laughs> Just tell me this, did you or did you not smell her hair? S smell her hair? <laughs> well, what if I did? 90% of a woman's pheromones come out the top of her head. That's why, that's why women are shorter. So that men will fall in love when they hug them. <laughs> come on, Ross, you're a scientist. I was hugging her as a friend. Okay, it's not my fault her, her hair got in my face. She's got a lot of it, and it smells all, all, uh, you know, coconutty. <laughs> what? Oh, it doesn't mean I have feelings for Rachel. Maybe it means I have feelings for coconuts. Okay, whatever you say, but just be careful, all right? Rachel's not in the same place you are. Okay, if the place you're referring to is being in love, then she is in the same place as me, because I am not in that place. Okay, I didn't understand that. But, you know, maybe that's because you were speaking the secret language of love. Hey. I, dude, some guy just called for you. Who was it? I don't know. How about, thanks for taking the message. Jeez. Hey, listen. You know when you move in, Rachel's room's going to be empty. You want to talk about what we want to do with it? Sure. Okay. I was thinking we should have a beautiful guest room, right? With um, a mahogany sleigh bed and bedside tables with flowers on it all the time. And then we could have like a roll top desk with little comment cards so people can tell us how much they love staying here. <laughs> hey, whatever, you know, I really haven't thought about it that much. Well, I like that idea, obviously. <laughs> but I was thinking maybe, maybe, maybe it could be a game room, you know? I mean, you can buy old arcade games like, uh, like Space Invaders and Asteroids for $200. The real ones, the big, big, big ones. No. Okay, so you mean no as in G Chandler. What an interesting idea. Let's discuss it before we reject it completely. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course. <laughs> yes, uh, interesting idea. Um, talk about it, but no. So that's it. I just don't think that, you know, arcade games go in the beautiful guest room. The beautiful guest room is going to be filled with antiques. Which is why Asteroids is perfect. It's the oldest game. <laughs> what do you have against the beautiful guest room? Nothing. I don't have anything against the beautiful guest room, especially since everybody that we know lives about 30 seconds away. Are you mocking me? No, I'm not mocking you or your beautiful guest room. So, nothing. Monica and I had a stupid fight. But you're still moving in together, right? Because my ad came out today. Wanted female roommate, non-smoker, non-ugly. <laughs> nice. Yeah? I just figured, you know, after living with you, it'd be an interesting change of pace to have a female roommate, you know? Someone I could learn from. Someone, someone who's different than me. And what's more different than me? A guy who's not 19 than, say, a girl who is 19. <laughs> <Yeah>? <laughs> Not just a hat rack, my friend. 